Okay, so today's video is going to be a absolutely huge wax candle haul. And I know that my subscribers really love when I do these, so you're in for a treat today. I was gonna do maybe separate videos of each vendors, but I'm like, heck no. You know what, I got so much good stuff. Uh, grab your popcorn, grab your apple cider. We're gonna start talking all these different vendors. I have Witch City Wicks, Goose Creek, Village Candle, Midnight Daydream. So we got a lot to go through. You know, take a break when you need go take a little bubble bath, whatever you gotta do, but then stay tuned because we have so much to discuss and I never really got into Halloween specific candles until this year and boy was I in for a treat because I love the scents that I got. So let's start talking, let's start with Witch City Wicks. I actually got every single scent that they have out there except for the limited edition, I think it was Black Bat. Uh, look how cute the front of these are. I think the packaging is absolutely adorable and the scents are unreal. I have never smelt wax that was so truly authentic and just pure. Like it seems so clean, the fragrance and on point and so layered. I love this company. I am so thrilled that I found this company on, on the internet because they're amazing. And I wanna just read the notes to you so that you know exactly what they are. So I'm gonna have my phone up here for a second. But first let's start with one of my favorites. It's Pumpkin Head. And it has this adorable, again, the branding on this, I'm a sucker for branding, but is so cute and it smells. This is one of the most authentic smelling candles for pumpkin that I've smelled in a while. It's so good. It's it's very a little bit bakery note-ish. I'm just so thrilled with it and I think it would look so cute on a table. So let me read you the notes really quickly. So the pumpkin head uh, is glorious pumpkin, lots of spices that include cinnamon, clove, ginger, and a final touch of creamy vanilla whipped cream. Ooh, that's what I'm getting in here. It's a whipped cream to give it a kiss of sweetness. And it definitely is exactly what they, they describe. I mean, you get the creaminess, you get the vanilla, but the spices and the pumpkins there, it's just an awesome candle. I'm not gonna go try to go too in depth because I don't want this to be like actually an hour. Also in this packaging, and this one was interesting. I mean, it was really cool because look at that. Um, I thought that this candle it smells like the outdoors. It smells like you are with your friends and you're running through a field with leaves just creep, you know, with the leaves crunching. It's like a Halloween night. The air is crisp. I can't believe how it's all in this candle it, in just a wax form. It really encompasses Halloween. I mean, All Hallows Eve is right in this jar pretty cool and you definitely get a little bit of sweetness i think it's an apple but let me pull up the fragrance notes really quickly click a frightfully addicting combination of smoky cloves earthy patchouli i guess that's where i'm getting that ground like the dirt and the leaves crunching and fresh from the tree apple oh apple okay there we go yes so i got this one i love it like this is halloween to me um I I don't know, I can't wait to do my top 10 favorite Halloween candles because I've got a lot. Uh, next one is Witch's Broom, and this one is one of my favorite packagings on here. This is very Salem-esque. It represents, that's where the company's from, is Salem, so they did a great job on the packaging for this. So, Witch's Broom is a candle to bring forth the magic of a witch's broom, freshly ground cinnamon bark, complemented with herbal cannabis flower. Oh, cannabis. But it doesn't contain cannabis flower, just so if, you know, if you're against that, it doesn't have that. I'm not against it, but it is what it is. Jasmine, rose, and bergamot tamed with musk, black tea, and patchouli. Yes, so this candle, when I first smelled it, I just thought, oh, it's a cinnamon candle. But then when you keep smelling it, all the different layers start popping out. That patchouli in there, it smells like you walked into the Sanderson's cottage. You know, you see them by the cauldron and they're stirring up all of their magic potions and you smell the almost like the fog coming your way. There's definitely a cinnamon broom in the corner. It's just a good candle. I love this candle. I love all of these candles. They're so good. They are very pricey, but 
because of the shipping, but they are so worth it. Like I feel giddy inside talking about them because they're they're that good. We have the Sleepy Hollow. Oh, guys, this might this might take the cake. So to me, I used to go to Williamsburg when I was little and this smells like Williamsburg a little bit at night. And it's very like colonial smelling, which I think that, you know, Sleepy Hollow takes time, the time period takes place in more of the colonial times. And wow, this is, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful candle. Sleepy Hollow evokes the spectric of the headless horseman. I think I said that, right? Sleepy Hollow evokes the spectric of that headless horseman riding through the night with the scent of burning fireplaces, pumpkin, apples, and rich autumn spices in the air. Sorry, rich autumn spices in the air. And you get that, you get that, you smell all of those layers, you smell, it's like you're walking down a gravel path and you spot the headless, headless horseman in the background. And you're like, oh snap we've got a problem and then you start smelling the the pumpkins that are on the ground you get the the crisp air you get the you know spices maybe from someone's house they're baking something oh it's not bakery it's not bakery but you definitely get the spices from something that you would bake with i love it it's so good Okay, and then those are the, those are it for the candles, but then I also got a few of the wax clams. I think these are what they're called. So I got Trick or Treat and Poison Apple. Poison Apple is really cool because it is a very authentic apple, which is hard to come by. A lot of apple scents smell very fake smelling. So Poison Apple to me smells like you go into the grocery store and you start you know, looking at all the apples, scouting for which one you want, and you get that aroma of the apple. It has a little bit of a perfumey scent to it, very slight. It's not, not very perfumey at all. It's just a slight perfume to it. So the fragrance notes that they say is it's a ghoulishly delightful ripe apple mingles with spices including cinnamon, nutmeg, clove, orange, and cedarwood. Oh yeah, you do get that orange in here a little bit. Yeah, it's really, it's a cool scent. It's a cool one. And then Trick or Treat, it's probably not my absolute favorite out of this whole collection, but it, it was a cool one and I obviously wanted to try them all. And this is supposed to remind you of, you know, your, your trick or treat bag. When you're done with Halloween night and every, you open up that bag and you see all that candy and you're like, oh man, I'm, I'm excited. I'm pumped. I got all the goods. Trick or treat is a hauntingly nostalgic fragrance of walking door to door in your best Halloween costume with your haul of sugary treats. Sweet infusion of pumpkin, persimmon, apple, blueberries, elderberries, currants, orange cinnamon sugarcane and vanilla and you really get that the i smell bubblegum popping through in this and then you get that vanilla a little bit of like that fruity blueberry note in here but it's cool it smells like it, there's no chocolate in it i think if maybe there was a bit of chocolate that would have really reminded me of opening up my you know i used a pillow a pillowcase when i was younger i started out with one of those like jack-o-lantern plastic bowls that i used to carry around but then when i got older i just grabbed my pillowcase i'm like i'm stuffing this bad boy all the way to the top um so if i had the chocolate in there that would have really reminded me of halloween i loved the mr good bars oh those were my fave but i honestly don't even really eat candy anymore unless it's from trader joe's so that's it for my witch city wicks candle haul now let's go into my goose creek and village candle so when i went to marshall's i picked up this village candle they had a lot of really great scents village candle is a company that i think is wonderful i think that they are kind of yankee candle-esque in my opinion they are keeping their big labels which yankee is not um and their scents are really nice their throws are a little weak though but you know so is yankee so um i do like these you can get them for super cheap at marshall's Marshalls, TJ Maxx, I see them at Home Goods. So I picked up this pumpkin donuts one and it's so good. It smells a little bit more of like a caramel glaze on top of a pumpkin donut, but it's it's great. And you get a little bit of a maple note, a pumpkin, 
in it the label is just adorable so i'm really happy that i picked this one up so now for goose creek this is a company i've never really heard of until i started watching people's candle videos and then really getting to the halloween candles so they released a whole entire line of halloween candles i only got three but i did see a few more that i would like to try maybe next year so these are the ones that I got. This one is the candy corn, which is pretty cool because I didn't really understand when people were talking about a candy corn candle, like how good could that really be? Until I took a bag of candy corn and smelled them together and I got it. I totally get what people mean because you do get that nostalgic scent coming from when you open up the bag and you're gonna put it into a cute little dish or something like that. And this is pretty spot on. This candle is pretty dang spot on for, you know, the fragrance of candy corn. I know that a lot of it can vary throughout different companies, but this one, open it up and candy corn is in your face. It's so good and the label is so cute. They have a really, really good way of branding their their candles and the fragrance oil in these you guys the fragrance oil was like when i got it it was everywhere there's so much oil in this and they throw wonderfully i've lit two of these i haven't lit this one this one is the pumpkin patch and the reason why i haven't lit this one even though i think that the front of this is so cute and also reminds me of halloween town the the town pumpkin in halloween town this one to me it kind of smells more of like a November candle. So it has almost like a cinnamon pine smell to it. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Um, but I think I'm gonna burn this probably in November. I'll just flip this around so I don't see the, the jack-o'-lantern. Let me read you the scent notes for candy corn and the pumpkin patch. So the top notes for candy corn is marshmallow cream powdered. I don't know what that means, powdered. And then it says sugar for mid note. Maybe they meant the mid note, which is powdered sugar. The base is corn syrup. Yeah, you get the corn syrup in this. Soft caramel, I don't smell that. Uh, condensed milk, vanilla bean. You just, to me, it smells like honey, vanilla, and marshmallow. Oh, it's good, it's so good. And then for the pumpkin patch, top note is apple and festive pumpkin. I really don't smell apple in this. Oh, maybe I do. Ooh, wait, it just smells different. All of a sudden it smells different. Whoa. That's so weird. It really was just smelling like just cinnamon. Okay, I guess I smell the apple in here. <laughs> it's funny, when you start reading things and then you go back to smell them, I think it triggers your mind in a different way to smell it or like look at it differently. Oh my gosh, you haven't seen my Bath and Body Works challenge? That is just true to this, this testament because if you don't see a label or if you don't know the notes, it just changes your mind on how it smells. Anyways, back to this. The mid note is nut nutmeg and clove base caramel and cinnamon i don't smell caramel at least i don't think yeah no but cinnamon definitely definitely so this one i i this candle is pretty cool i've never smelled something like this before it's a very unique um it is the trick-or-treat candle and the label is probably one of my favorite labels i've ever seen on a halloween candle to me this is the epitome of halloween you're with your friends and your costumes you know you're going up a hill the leaves are falling and you're, you have your little jack-o'-lantern buckets to go get your candy. I just think this is so cute. And the black wax against it, oh, gorgeous. Well, I watched a lot of Goose Creek hauls and everyone said if you were to get one candle off of Goose Creek, this would be it. And I don't know if I would have gotten it originally if I hadn't have watched those videos because, I don't know, I probably would have actually. I love all these scents in here. What am I talking about? So the top note is apple, pear, and light graham cracker it says the mid note is cracker the base note is spiced pumpkin apple cider milk chocolate and vanilla and it's crazy this combination is crazy to me because you get this great chocolatey graham cracker but then you get the apple in there and a little bit of vanilla it's just a scent i have never smelled before and to me this reminds me of when i was coming home from school and I was getting ready. I was getting my costume together. I was getting excited to go out with my friends. And it, it just gives me that feeling of just like being a little kid and super giddy to get out there and go trick or treating. So I think this did a really good job. You know, it's, it's different from something like Sleepy Hollow where Sleepy Hollow is when you're out and about during Halloween. This to me is like getting ready for the festivities. So 
that is the Goose Creek haul and the Village Candle haul that I did. And now next, we have the Midnight Daydream Wax haul. I got a lot of stuff from here, so this will be it. I will try to keep it quick, but I got so many goodies, so let's get started. Oh my gosh, I forgot I have a whole other vendor as well. Southbound Wax Co. Oh my gosh, guys, sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe I should have split this up, but just bear with me. Oh, so many goodies. This is a whole goodie box of wax. Okay, so he gave me, Harrison is who I'm talking about, he's the owner of this company. Um, I've ordered from them once before, and if you haven't seen that haul, I will post it up here. But he gave me a little sample in this cute little pumpkin bag. Look how cute. I'm definitely going to reuse this. He gave me Fall Festival, which is Mac, Apple, Citrus, Ground Cinnamon, Clove, Raspberry, ooh, Peach, Vanilla Cream, Caramel, and Roasted Peanuts. I have not smelled any of these, but the... Oh, this one has no lid. Um, the pumpkin patch. I did like that the other day because I wanted to try it and I just couldn't wait any longer. So let's see what fall festival smells like. Oh, yeah, that's really good. It smells like leaves to me, the candle from Bath and Body Works. And then this one is the gingerbread at the fair. Oh, so he gave me a Christmas scent. I like that, preparing me for Christmas time. Cotton candy, frosted gingerbread cookies. Oh, that's a cool combination. It's, it's more cotton candy and like a little bit of a spice of the ginger, but yeah, that's pretty good. So let's start with the candles and then I have the wax scent shots and the two ounce wax. So for the candles, I picked up October 31st and it says it's a spooky Halloween night. Oh wow, that's very strong. I think that's patchouli and smelling. Yeah, it's a little bit perf. No, it's a lot of bit perfumey. It does smell very spooky though, which I like. So I'm excited to, maybe I should wait to burn that on October 31st, we'll see. This one is Fall Front Porch and it's Apple Cider Fritters and Haunted Hayride. Oh, whoa, not what I was expecting. I don't even know how to explain this candle to you. Mmm, interesting, interesting. I guess I'm smelling that cider and there's just some kind of strong perfume note to this. I don't know if I'm gonna, this might give me a headache. I don't know, but it kind of is addictingly good. I don't know what I'm smelling in this, interesting. Whoa, whoa, take my nose hairs for a spin, why don't you? Um, I don't know how I feel about that candle, we'll see. It's very interesting, okay. Autumnal Equinox is this one, and I saw someone, I think it was Hauling Wax, who said that this was a pretty cool Halloween candle to him, um, and he, or he maybe had in a wax shot, and then he got a candle. Anyway, so it is Grecian Fig, Fallen Leaves, Wild Raspberries, Mimosa, Cedar, Patchouli, Amber, Tonka, and Jasmine. Who would have thought to put Mimosa, Raspberries, and Fallen Leaves together? Harrison did. Oh, whoa. That's a men's cologne to me. Mm, I think I would take fall front porch over this. I don't know. It's a little too strong. I'm just being honest. I also love this company, so don't think I'm bashing this company in any way. You know, just some scents aren't for me, and they're for other people. So don't get don't get feisty now. But the October 31st, I think, is one that I would choose to have a little bit more of a masculine scent. And then the last one I got, no, where is my pumpkin patch candle? I just had it, I thought. Oh, here it is. Um, I know I had another one. So pumpkin patch, I did one. So pumpkin patch, I did burn this, and this was really good. Very strong, very strong. I like the scent a lot. It reminds me of, this reminds me like it's a super cool day out like you definitely need like a, a little bit of a puffer puffer jacket and you're going to the orchards and you know you're stepping on the hay because you're about to get on a hay ride you smell a, you know some of the food in the background i don't know this is a cool candle it's a secret blend that will transport oh transport you to the pumpkin batch so literally like that's what i'm getting you smell the pumpkins on the ground you're at a pumpkin festival this is a good candle it's strong though it's not quite masculine and perfumey, but it's a good one. And then I have Halloween Town, and that is Cider Lane and Candy Corn. So, it's Cider Lane to me. I'm not getting much of that candy corn after I smell that Goose Creek candle, but yeah, Cider Lane is right here. So, if Bath & Body Works ever decided to not take 
Saturn Lane back. So yeah, if Bath & Body Works decided never to bring Saturn Lane back out, I'm not concerned because Midnight Wax has a really good one that smells pretty spot. We have apple pie oatmeal, which I love making during the autumn season. Apple pie filling, chewy oatmeal cookies, and pie crust. Oh, love all three of those. Woo! I love this. This smells good. Yep, it smells exactly how my oatmeal smells when it all comes together. You get the apple, you get the oatmeal, a little bit of the cinnamon in there. Pie crust? No, not really. No, just smells like oatmeal with apples and cinnamon and deliciousness. Love it. Okay, then we have caramel apple pops. Uh, this is green apple lollipops with a caramel coating. Oh my gosh, this to me smells like, did you ever have those lollipops that, I guess that's what they're saying this is, but it's the lollipops that has like the green um, hard candy and then it has that fake caramel wrapped around it. This is what exactly it smells like. Mmm. That's good. That's good. It doesn't smell like caramel apple. There's a different note to this. Yeah, there's something. This is more of a, ooh, I don't know how to explain it. It's it's a tart apple, but it's very sweet at the same time. And the caramel is not like that authentic caramel on the stove. It's that fake waxy caramel that you get on candy. It's really good. I like that a lot. Um, then we have mulled cider, an autumnal beverage, obviously. Cider, hello. It's a beverage. Delish. Ooh, this is a different kind of cider. I like this. This is more of an orange cider to me. I smell a lot of that orange and the spices, not so much the apple. That's cool. I like that. So it's more of like an orange cider. I've never smelled something like that before. I, people usually just always put apple when it comes to cider, but orange is right up there with it. I love, do you remember when, I don't know if your parents ever did this, but my grandma used to do this where she put a stove, uh, she put a pot on the stove and then she'd have boiling water in there. She'd put uh, orange peels and then some cinnamon sticks and clove, um, a little like clove, they almost look like, um, what are they like little stars like the clothes and then she'd put it in there and just let it sit and simmer even she'd put some apples in there and it would just make the kitchen smell so good um that is kind of what it smells like because it's heavy on that orange then i have nana's cookie jar and this is a special sugar cookie bakery blend uh let's see mm. it smells like candy corn tree <laughs> but then with cinnamon in it it's really good i like that one I'm trying to keep this quick uh, the Halloween store, the Witch's Cauldron, Dark Musk, Tonka, Patchouli, and Vanilla. Wow, that's cool. I've never smelled something like that. Whoa, I'm just loving these Halloween scents. Yeah, you do smell like you're, I don't know, this reminds me of the 90s, being a kid in the 90s, this scent. There's something about it, but you definitely get that like walking into Party City and you're about to try to pick out your overpriced Halloween costume why I DIY it a lot because they're cuter and it's handmade but uh yeah this is a cool candle or it's not a candle it's wax but can't wait to put that in my warmer uh then we have pumpkin icebox cookies pumpkin pie and lemon icebox cookies mm, I'm smelling a lot of the lemon it's good sorry I that was like a bad reaction <laughs> It's good, it's just more lemony. This kind of reminds me of summertime. Um, I smell a little bit of that pumpkin spice, but not much. It's good, but summer summertime blend. Um, Casper's cookie jar, freshly baked sweet pumpkin sugar cookies frosted with fluffy buttercream frosting. Ooh, Casper, look at you with your cookie jar. Yeah, I like that. I'd eat some of your co ghostly cookies. Next one, the great pumpkin, sweet pumpkin and candy corn. Ooh, that's a very quintessential scent. Yeah, I smell the candy corn and the sweet pumpkin. I like it. Okay, we only have two more of these and then we'll go into Southbound and we'll be done. So we have pumpkin pop tarts, which I've never had a pumpkin pop tart before. Sounds good though. Frosted pumpkin cupcakes, pie crust and whipped cream. Mmm, for some reason I'm getting a coconut note to this. Oh, it's the whipped cream. Sometimes whipped cream can smell like a little bit of coconut to me. Yeah, this is good. I think it's more of just like a bakery scent. I wouldn't necessarily like connect this one to fall or Halloween time. 
Um, lastly, maple cornbread cookie dough. I love making cornbread during the fall season with my chili. There's nothing better than pairing cornbread and chili together. So let's see what this one smells like. I have smelled the cornbread one before that he has and they do smell really good, so. Oh wow, ding, 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 I have an idea. Maple syrup on top of cornbread. Why have I not thought of that before? Whoa, that's good. Sugar cookie dough. Oh yeah, I do smell the cookie dough a little bit. Sugar cookie dough, cornbread, and maple pancakes. That's really good. That's really good. I would probably, I wouldn't say this is like my, I would, it would be my go-to fall and Halloween scent, but it's definitely like a great breakfast scent in the morning to have. Ooh, I like it. Okay, so now let's do southbound, and that's going to be super quick because I don't have too many, but I want to share with you. Oh, okay. Actually, I forgot I have this whole bag. Maybe I'll do southbound separate. I'll do southbound separate. And you'll have another wax video to look forward to. This was the Haunted Carnival Sampler. And I really wanted to try this one because all the scents sounded amazing. This one is Haunted Carnival, Caramel Kettle Corn, Autumn in Salem, and Campfire Marshmallow. <laughs> Love my marshmallow. keep saying whoa because these scents just blow my mind how you can just make these combinations you feel like you're at a carnival smelling the kettle corn in the background the crisp air the marshmallow like there's definitely a bonfire in the background but it's not super strong Ooh, i like that a lot then we have zombie zucchini zucchini bread cider lane and candied pecans yep cider lane is there you get a hint of that zucchini cinnamon bread and then, I don't smell the pecans? Pecans? No, not, there's no nuttiness to that, but you definitely get that combination. It smells really good. Twisted Twinkies, ooh. Pumpkin Delicious Twinkies, or Delush Twin. Pumpkin Delush Twinkies, Waffle Wafers, and Vanilla Bean Noel. This, to me, smells more of like Christmas cookies. Not so much fall. It smells very sweet and bakery, and I do like it, but not so much fall to me. Let's see. Pumpkin doodle cornbread. Another cornbread scent. Nice. Pumpkin whoopie pies, sugar cookies, and cornbread. Yeah, smells like the kind of the other ones without the maple note. Just the cornbread. You get a little of that sweet spice to it. It's good. I like it. Uh, freaky funnel cake. Get your freak on. Get your freak on. Candy corn cotton candy funnel cake. Yes, this is Haunted Carnival. Oh, if you blend it, oh, I'm gonna do half and half. Haunted Carnival and Freaky Funnel Cake together. The candy corn, cotton candy funnel cake. Everything is in this. You smell the fried funnel cake, that's cool. And then you smell the spun cotton candy. This is a good one. Lastly, we have Casper's Coffee Chai Latte with Glazed Churro Donuts. You know, I don't drink coffee. I like coffee scents, kind of. Uh, love a good chai latte and glazed churro donuts. Let's see. Well, I don't smell the chai latte, but I certainly smell the coffee. It's good. Not sweet. It's very, it's like you're brewing a cup of coffee. Casper is quite domestic over at the Midnight Daydream Company. Okay, so that's it for my wax haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned. I will do a separate southbound wax haul because I've never ever bought stuff from them before and I really enjoyed their stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this. Sorry if it was a bit long, but I just wanted to show you this big wax haul that I did. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Happy Halloween.